The Caliphone MP3 player recorder is a tool that can be used throughout all levels of learning by teachers and students alike in all disciplines. From language learning, listening to audiobooks, to tracking progress by a speech pathologist. If you've never operated an MP3 player before, this one is very simple and straightforward to operate. It's based on a series of accessing files to listen to or operations to be performed with a series of embedded folders. Before we get into the how-to's, first we'll take a quick tour of its buttons and features. The 8100 is the first MP3 player to feature two 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks for multiple listeners at the same time. This is its built-in microphone. The four buttons here are for recording. AB is for looping or playback of one or more files. The menu button right here is how all the internal operations are, are accessed. The OK button on the far right confirms each choice. The mini USB for recharging the unit, which is done in five hours if it's connected to a computer. And this is also how you transfer files. On the bottom is a hinged slot that can be opened up to access an SD card and it can accommodate up to a 2 gig card. You can charge it via an external DC jack in if you don't want to connect it to a computer and the center green button is how the unit is turned on. Just press it down, hold it down, and you can see it goes through a booting up procedure. It finalizes the internal library, it updates it, and once that's completed in a couple seconds, here's your starting screen. Every file and most commands are accessed through the menu button and then confirmed through the OK button, these two on the right. After pressing the on button, the screen appears showing the following information. There is current track status, including the track number, total number of tracks, the track time, the current position and playback status, as well as volume level. Battery charge status and also the current playback source, internal memory or the external memory card is also shown. As I said, everything is accessed through the menu button. I'm going to hit that now and there are three menu choices that you see. There's play music, play voice, or settings. These two side buttons are how you toggle forward or backward. So play music, play voice, settings, information, default settings, or exit. Under the play music, I will hit OK. You'll see there are five choices to go through. Play all, artist, album, songs, genre, year, and then back up to play all. If we were to select artist, it will list all of the artists who are presently stored in the internal memory. If I were to select any particular one, I'll hit Bill Evans Trio, and this is the number of albums that we have stored in the internal memory. In this case, it's just the single one. Everybody digs Bill Evans Trio, and you can see the title scrolls past if it's longer than what's seen on the screen. So I'll hit OK and these are the songs on that album. So I will go ahead through all the different songs and I'll just hit OK on this one and it begins playing. If I go back to the main menu and I'm going to hit settings Oops. 
There are 10 different choices to go through. There's the equalizer, such as rock or classical music, play mode, record memory, the maximum volume limit, resume playback, playtime settings, power saving, the LCD contrast screen, backlight, delete file, or exit. If I go, just for example, into maximum volume limit, and I've made that selection, I'll press OK. The MP3 player comes with a built-in volume playback limit of 85 decibels. That can be disarmed if you have a student with special needs. So if I were to do that, I would click Disable and then hit OK. And we're taken back to the Settings menu. So I will go through here and we'll go back to Exit. So it, I will go through in menu to record a voice. All you simply do is hit the record button and after a second the record button will come on. Pressing pause once will stop the recording. Pressing it a second time will continue the recording and the recording will go on until we hit OK, which I'll do right now. And it says recording complete, and you can see there are two WAV files that are currently stored in the memory. Now, if I wanted to delete a file, hit the main menu, go down to settings, hit OK, and I'm going to go backwards this time. Delete file. OK. And I want you to have two choices. Delete a music file or delete a voice file. I'm going to scroll down to hit voice file. And it shows you the number of voice files presently stored on the player. You can toggle back and forth through however many you have. I'm going to delete this first one that we have. I'm going to highlight it. And it gives you a prompt. Delete confirm no or yes. I'm going to hit yes and hit OK once again. And then it updates the menu choices. And once that's done, hit main menu again. So if I wanted to play what I've, been, what I've recorded, hit the main menu once again. Instead of hitting play music, I'm going to hit play voice. OK and this is the only file that we currently have on memory that is a voice file and by simply hitting OK it will begin playing it and you can see down along the bottom of the screen it's showing the amount of time total amount of time and in the lower right corner how many voice files are presently shown but what I'm going to do now is just connect a 3.5 millimeter cord connected to a Performer Plus media player and I'm going to play that once again menu play voice hit OK pressing pause once will stop the recording pressing it a second time will continue the recording and the recording will go on until we hit OK, which I'll do. And that was the WAV file that we just played. And then when you're done recording, if you want to transfer any files, either what you've recorded onto the MP3 player to a computer, or bring new songs from the computer through, again, the mini USB port under the MP3 player, just drag and drop after you sync the player to the computer. For more information about the Caliphone MP3 player, please visit our website at caliphone.com. Thank you.